Hi everyone, welcome back to Homegrown Handmade. I'm Allison, and today we're here in our Texas house. Um, what we're planning to work on is getting, there's some linoleum in our kitchen here that's on top of quarter inch plywood. And that quarter inch plywood is laying on top of the original hardwood floors in this home. Um, we are hoping to pull up the linoleum and see if we can get some of that plywood up to see what we're working with underneath. In an ideal situation, the floors would be in salvageable condition. Um, we would like to save the hardwoods, they're really cool. Um, and there, you know, there are a few boards that we will have to replace, but ideally, number one, it's gonna save us a lot of money in the long run. And number two, it kind of, to me, um, preserves the integrity of the home. This is a 75 year old ranch house and I want to preserve some of that feel and some of those touches that have been here for all the, that time. So. Fingers crossed, we're gonna cross everything that we can get this up cleanly without destroying anything um, and that the, the hardwoods are something that we'll be able to work with underneath. So let's get started. All right, so it's day four um, here at the Texas house. This is actually day two of the kitchen project, um, but we do need to take off today and head home. So we're not gonna be able to finish everything in here. The good news is that yesterday, Steve got all of the plywood with the linoleum on top of it off. Um, we did find that there is another layer of linoleum that's glued directly onto the hardwoods. So it was, kind of a good thing and a bad thing. It made it easier for us to get that plywood up without damaging the floors underneath. Um, the bummer is that we can't get this linoleum off. We're gonna have to um, invest in a heat gun and uh, something like that to loosen the adhesive underneath so that we can remove this. Um, we did do our research. One thing, if you do have an older home like this and you find that you have old linoleum tiles, you need to be very careful um, because a lot of older linoleum actually has asbestos in it. And if you break the tiles, you can release asbestos into the home. Um, typically those tiles are like a nine by nine and they're a darker color. The other thing to watch for is a dark adhesive. Um, if you have like a black or like a really dark adhesive under your linoleum, that could also be asbestos containing. Um, and so the best thing to do is to take a little chunk, um, like a one by one inch piece if you can, and go have that tested. Um, this is rolled linoleum, and so we believe that it's not asbestos, but we are actually gonna bring a sample home with us to get it tested just to be safe um, because we don't wanna release asbestos into our house. So all that being said, um, I'll show you the floors in just a moment here, but we got all of the plywood and the old hardwood, and so it, it is nice and flush between the hardwoods pretty much and then the kitchen now, so. I'll let me show you that now.
So that's all for this project for now. The next time we're out here, we plan to get the rest of this linoleum off the hardwoods to really see what we're working with underneath. Um, thank you all for joining us. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to follow along for more of our remodel on our home and all the things that we're going to be doing on our homestead here in Central Texas. Thanks, guys.